I grew up in a small town of like 20,000 people. I was far and away the first person and to have the internet in that town. And I was the only person to have access to internet in that town. This is Eagle Pass. Yes. Even though like this tenant thing I'm talking about, even though all teachers had access to it, it was like this very obscure thing. No one knew about it. Like, I don't even know how I found out about it. So no one used it, really. Even, even then, back then, if you had a computer with a modem, like I had a 2400 baud modem, you know, it was like really weird to even have access to the stuff. Anyway, I saw an opportunity. <laughs> Being the only person with internet in the town meant that I had access to research papers. I had access to other things people had written. And high school and junior high kids are lazy and need help getting projects done. And for a small fee, I could help facilitate and connect you with the information you're looking for at a low, at a low, low, uh, re- very reasonable price. So I started <laughs> selling access to the information that I could get on the internet to other people who went to school with me. How, how, how'd that work out for you? Lucratively. <laughs> oh, man. I used to sell blow pops. That's so much cooler. <laughs> so, like, you were a cyberpunk-style information broker? <laughs> yeah. It's like, in Eagle Pass? Yeah, you need a research paper on the Hoover Dam? Well, let me... <laughs> let me put let me, my fingerless gloves. Let me see what I can get you here. I'm in. <laughs> let me use Archie to to connect to a server in San Diego. <laughs> were you were you totally, like, cool guy hackering it, too? Like, listen, you can't tell anybody where you got this information from. I, I can get I into a lot show, of trouble. I I'm show, not even legally supposed to be here in this database right now. I wouldn't even show them or tell them. I just printed out on my Canon bubble jet printer and just hand them a stack of papers with the information they're looking for. It, it, it worked out well for a while. There's an all new show on the Rooster Teeth Animation Channel called Q versus A, where Griff and Simmons answer all of your burning questions about the Red versus Blue series. You can watch episode one right now by clicking the box right below me. Go check it out. You don't want to miss it. It's super fun.